Arcade Memories is back. It's been a while. And Dave is here to spend his Friday evening, as we are recording this, reminiscing about Final Fight, mate. The coin-op. Yeah, Final Fight, the arcade version. Now, did you ever play the arcade version? Because I've got memories, certainly, of the console versions, but not so much the arcade. Yes, Ooh. is the answer. I played a lot of this in the arcade, mate. A lot. And, well... We'll get into this, guys. This, uh, this is Mike Hagar, if you didn't know, if you've been living under a rock for the last million years. Yeah, Mike Hagar is the mayor and his daughter, I think, Dave's been kidnapped. Yeah, um, that's right. This was originally released as an arcade game in 1989, Mike. 89. There we go. I'm putting in the old uh, 20 pences or 10 pences. Yeah, 89, that is... Yeah, that has surprised me, actually. I thought it was a, bit, it was a little bit later. I always chose this dude, Guy. So, quality. here we go, guys. See what I did there? Here we go, guys. Right. I wonder <laughs> if there's friendly fire in this. Let's test it quickly. Yes, there yes, is. This is the answer. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, Dave, I spent a lot of time with this and then the SNES port. Which I absolutely love, but obviously no guy in the SNES port. Very, very strange. Now, I played quite a lot the Mega CD version of this game and absolutely loved right. it. But blimey, is it a difficult game. Yeah, it is. But this is Arcade Memories, guys. And you know what that means. We have got pockets full of change <laughs> because our parents have given Dave and I money to spend on the arcade tonight. And... Uh, yeah, we can keep continuing. And the thing was, the first machine we saw in that smoke-filled arcade room was Final Fight. And Mike said, Dave, come on, don't be so stingy. Get the 20p's out. We're hitting up Final Fight. Yeah, Dave wanted to play Asteroids. I was like, nah, man, we're playing Final Fight. I wanted to play Asteroids, and then I wanted to play Gallagher. Ha <laughs> ha, classics. And oh, Mike, here he comes. And then Mike reminded me that neither of those games are two-player, and he's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm getting my ass handed to me, that just like usual <laughs> on this game. Oh, yeah, it is a tough game. Oh, here we go. If I remember correctly, we go to a subway in a minute once we've done this street section. Yeah, we do. Oh, there you go. There's the roast beef just sitting in a dustbin. Because <laughs> that was a thing when we were playing Street to Rage 3. Weren't we a couple of weeks ago, and uh, it's the same same deal in that you find roast beef or steaks <laughs> just randomly. Yeah, <laughs> it's so strange. I love it. Just beat the living crap out of this guy. Now, if I remember, serves me correct. He actually sits on the wall a minute and whistles to get some more of his cronies out to help him beat us up. Here we go. He sure does. There, there he goes. goes. Oh, and I'm getting stabbed. There was also, uh, guys, a quirky version of Final Fight, which Dave and I played and um, featured on the old school series. Check it out. I think it's the first game in the playlist that I made, actually, called Mighty Final Fight, which was like a NES side-scrolling uh, Final Fight with, with cutesy sprites. Very strange game. Yeah, that was, but definitely check that one out because it's interesting. But this, blimey... Um being reminded just how difficult this game was. Can you imagine if we really were in 1989, stood in front of the arcade machine, playing this and getting our asses handed to us like we are? Yeah. Oh, that's it. Special is uh, the two buttons together, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. He does like a whirlwind kick. Yeah, it is hard. And I've just pumped some more money in. There you go. So I'm going to go as Mike Hagar. Here he comes, guys. And Mike Hagar was a lot of people's favourite character. He's the main protagonist in Final Fight, obviously. But we've cleared round one. Whilst I remember, Dave, there was this rumour that went around. You know when you were kids and you had rumours about games? Like, one of them, and I'm rambling here, guys, but one of the rumours was Super Mario World. I always remember someone claiming that there was 97 stars rather than 96 or whatever to find. And there never was. It was just one of those sort of rumours. Yeah. Um, and there was one with Final Fight. If you're playing as Mike Hagar, only in the coin-up version, if you do that, I'll try and do it now, guys. I can't. But when he does that, like, spinning... There we go, that. Yeah. If you find a certain clock 
in the game and go up to the clock and do that move on it again in this arcade version you can skip levels and teleport really yeah but i don't know <laughs> it was one of those rumors you know when you were a kid and people made stuff up but it might have been true i remember reading it in a, a computer gaming magazine like a reader's letter someone wrote in asking if it was true and the editor replied and was like i cannot confirm nor deny he's very cryptic with it all but yeah i loved that when we were kids we had no internet we couldn't look stuff like that up no we couldn't in fact you know someone at a magazine might have had a contact who worked on this game or you know knew about this game who might have actually been able to give them the answer to that so you're right it would have involved a telephone call or a fax or something being sent yeah. to ask that question yeah. it would have been amazing because you wouldn't have known and i and i remember there were some other urban myths in some other games too where people were saying, oh, you could get this secret character in Tomb Raider. There were no, there were no secret characters in Tomb Raider. It was all about Lara. That was the point of it. <laughs> I remember that, yeah. I remember and also, that do, you remember, do you remember Nude Lara? That was a big urban myth, because I don't ever remember seeing yes. Nude Lara Clark Croft as well in the game. Yeah, well, it, it was a myth. They, they, they wouldn't have allowed that in, in into the game, because it didn't have the 18 certificate, uh, or the adult certificate, to warn people that you're going to get naked Lara. Not that... Not that the the young lads at the time would have minded. <laughs> I'm getting my ass kicked. Back to Guy. There we go. Uh, this is fantastic. It is absolutely f brilliant. It really is. It's a great game. The arcade version. Big chunky sprites. Graphics look great. Pretty cool, awesome soundtrack in the background as well. This one's awesome. I would have loved to have played this on an arcade machine. I'm gutted that I didn't. Yeah, it's... Uh it de it's definitely my favourite version. Um, still holds up to this day. I, yeah, I will still argue that I think Streets of Rage Two is the is a better game than this, and and loads of people in the comments be like, no way, because um, this is a lot of people's favourite brawler. This this is very very good. It's definitely. I mean, you can tell it was a success because it was. It's a brilliant game. But I'm the same as you. If you gave me Streets of Rage 2 right now, I'd switch over and be playing Streets of Rage 2. Yeah. It, it had more variety for me, Streets of Rage 2. It was just something about it. I love the art style of it, the setting, everything about Soundtrack. that game. Soundtrack. Was, was it was the perfect brawler for me, Streets yeah. of Rage 2. Love the soundtrack as well. Enemies were interesting, especially the, the bosses. They were pretty cool. They were, yeah. I, I would say this is my... It's probably my second favourite brawl, a Final Fight arcade version. The SNES port was good, but I don't know if I could go back and play that after playing this arcade version. No, that'd be interesting to see, because isn't there... There's one less character, which I think you've mentioned before, but wasn't there yeah. some other concessions as well with the gameplay where it wasn't quite the same as the arcade? Um, well, obviously, good? we've... Here in the UK or, or in Europe, we had the the borders, didn't we? Because we did. of PAL. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that was the same for the NTSC version. I would imagine that you have got more screen to play with, but um, yeah, yeah, there was there was definitely drawbacks to the SNES port because obviously it's a it was a port, it was a port of a, of an arcade game on a, onto a sixteen bit console, but it was still a damn good port. Yeah. There also this guy gone. There were also some home computer ports, weren't there? I seem to remember this getting a port to the Amiga as well. Me, this, and I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying this, guys. Do correct me. This had a port to the ZX Spectrum. Oh, really? The Spectrum? Yeah, and it was uh, not very good. So, here we go. I've got a list of all the ports for you. So, we've got the Arcade that we're playing now, Super NES, okay. Amiga, Amstrad CPC, Atari ST, Commodore 64... Uh, oh, wow. Z ZX Spectrum, uh, the yeah. the Sharp X68000, which is a Japanese PC, essentially. The Sega Mega CD, the CPS Changer, Game Changer maybe, Game Boy Advance, and it also came out on Java as a mobile edition or a mobile version of the game. So uh, just, the, just a few platforms then? Quite a few, yeah. It was a tremendously successful game. That's interesting. We, uh, I think, for old school, should take a look at the maybe the C sixty four version. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have a go at the C sixty four because it'll be interesting to see how it holds up. Do you remember the Spectrum yeah. version? And did you play the Spectrum version? Would be a question I'd ask. No, you. never played it. Never played it. Didn't know there was a Spectrum version. Actually, I have to hold my hands up here, guys. Until 
a few years back because I saw I saw screenshots of it somewhere. Uh, might have been on YouTube. Someone had it as a thumbnail, um, and I was like, "Final Fight on the ZX Spectrum." It's like, <laughs> wow, that would have been one of the last games to feature on 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 the Specky. I tell you what, let's do a home computer special of Final Fight. Let's do Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum, yeah. and Commodore Amiga. That is cool. That's a cool idea. Let's compare the three versions. Let's give give everyone a, a really awesome special. Right, let's beat this guy, because he's annoying me now. <laughs> he's beating the crap out of us. Oh, we're beating the crap I'm out of each I other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, um, yeah, it, it's we were talking about this as well in Streets of Rage 3 when we were having a blast on that. Um, that it was such a thing, wasn't it? Friendly fire in these brawlers. I think it was daft, especially as this was a multiplayer game. Here we go. I love this, reminds me of um, it's such a Capcom Street Fighter 2. That's where Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2 got 2, this yeah. from because this obviously came first. Yeah, it did. How would you get the... I can't remember how you get that pole down there because it's quicker if you get the pole. Oh, I've just hit you. There you go. <laughs> oh, what's going on? I can't do my whirlwind kick. I'm really frustrated. I want to do my whirlwind kick on the car. Go on, Mike. Whack it with your pole. Not literally. I don't think it's... <laughs> I don't think it's doing anything, my pole. <laughs> go, move up, mate. Move up. Move up. Now try whacking it. Oh, I feel silly. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I didn't know you could go up and down there. I thought it was just side <laughs> to side because I had Street Fighter 2 in my in my head. Um, here we go, guys. I usually got this far when I played this as a kid in the arcade and, and, and would get stuck here, basically, because I'd run out of money. Oh, As I hit Dave again. Da -da 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 -da. Mike's put another pound coin in. It's just gone up. <laughs> Yeah, the cost of playing you this game you just do... got up. <laughs> um, I was going to say you do get the same enemies appearing, copy and paste jobs, don't you? In this, you do in a lot of these sorts of games. I mean, we we play Streets of Rage and Streets of Rage Two and Three. They also have a lot of copy paste with just slightly different names or slightly different colours to them. So they'd be wearing different coloured outfits, for example. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> the uh, soundtrack on this, guys, it's probably quite faint for you because I always turn the, the game audio down so you can hear Dave and my lovely voice. But um, it's very Mega Drive, very Genesis. It's got that sort of sound, doesn't it? Yeah, it has. It's got that twangy sort of sound that the Genesis slash Mega yeah. Drive had. Whereas the SNES, it sounded like you were listening to a CD. The soundtrack on the SNES was amazing. Yeah, it had a good sound chip, didn't it? Yeah, very good. Sony, Ken Kutaragi, the father of the that's PlayStation, it. made that chip for anyone that's interested. Wow, look at this. I don't think I ever got this far, guys, in the arcade version. Oh. And I've hit Dave again with my sword. In the game. Let's make sure we say you in, hit in, in, the in the game. <laughs> yeah, that sounded a bit dodgy, that, didn't it? What do you do on Friday night? I was just, uh, just hitting Dave, Dave on the head with my sword. With, 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 with my sword. <laughs> um, yeah. In Final Fight. In Final Fight. We they were masters, Capcom, weren't they? At their, you know, at their craft, at the Resi games, uh, the survival horror, the, obviously the brawlers, the fighters, the beat 'em ups. They, they were really, yeah, they were. What what happened to that? Because they don't seem to make those sorts of games. You might see the odd Street Fighter, like Street Fighter VI, the Ultimate Twenty Fifth Anniversary Edition. But what other games do you see from Capcom that are like this and some of the others, like Mega Man? Remember Mega Man? Where's where's Mega Man gone? I, yeah, I, I mean, obviously we still get the Resi games. Yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of the new Resi games. I don't like the first person. Um, I mean, yeah, it, it's probably because of nostalgia, but I prefer the old Resi games. The the, the first person view, and it, they don't feel like Resident Evil to me. Uh, Resident Evil 7 and the most recent one, they don't feel like Resident Evil. And I know series have to evolve and change and, and y yeah, re-energise themselves, I guess. But you're right. Where, where's Mega Man? I, although we have had 183 Mega Man games, so perhaps that <laughs> series is a little tired now. 
Yeah, maybe we have. And though, didn't we have like Mighty Number no. Nine or something as well, which was a really bad game or a really poor game? That was dreadful. That was a uh, fan. I think it was a crowdfunded rather uh, oh. project. It started off as that. It took years to make, and everyone hated. I've played it. I've played it on PS4. It's dreadful. I'm trying not to hit you. I'm trying to make sure I move above where nah, you're stood. It's all good, man. Don't 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 worry. There we go. Guy time. <laughs> oh, I've hit you. There we go. I mean, yeah. I don't think I played this co-op in Arcade. I may have joined my brother on it. I'm not sure. But that was another thing. It would keep you pumping more money in. Because a lot of the time, you're just doing damage, again, to your partner. Yeah. Which I think is cheap. Incredibly cheap. But yeah, that's that's just how it was. Why did they that's have they, That's how they made their money. Why did they have to have friendly fight? It would have frustrated me. Uh, look at these two dudes. These two dudes are constantly in this game. Oh, I thought I'd just, I'd just about to finish him off, and you have finished him off. There we go. So we'll have a quick look at the next stage, guys. We won't play all of this, because my thumb's hurting. <laughs> there we go. I love the art style. Ooh. Love the art style of this game. It's so good. It does. It looks fantastic. Even to this day, it's definitely one, if you've got access to MAME and emulation, give this a go for definite. So how are we playing this, mate? Retro Arch, we Retro using Arch. what core? The are core we using is Final this? Burn Alpha, and of course, I'm remoted onto Mike's laptop using Parsec, which is how I'm playing it with him. Yeah, and it's working really well, guys. It... Definitely, well, I can't, as you I... can see, it's it's. Can't blame the emulation or anything else for my terrible performance because it definitely isn't that. <laughs> now you're playing all right, man. You're playing well. Oh, look at this guy! I never got this far. Here we go. Looks like a giant police officer. I think he is a giant police officer with a big hairy chest. <laughs> and he is not ashamed of that hairy chest. Look, he's got his buttons undone. He's like, come at me. <laughs> okay. It's Mike Hagar time, and it's special he is. time. Right, how do I do that? There we go. Whoa! Oh, he's got me. He's whacking me. Whacking me with his truncheon. At least I think that was his truncheon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the innuendos, guys. <laughs> You've missed them. Um, That'd be the last one, though, from me, for definite. You sure you haven't got one more? Uh, give me a minute. <laughs> uh, yeah, I reckon you've got a few more. There we go, guys. Round three clear. We'll, we'll have a five-second look at the next stage, just so we can yeah show you what it looks like, if you're interested. Here we go. Oh, whoa, there's a bit of platforming here or something. Yes, there is. This was in uh, Mighty Final Fight. There was little platforming sections on the NES. Yeah, there Look was. this. Wow. Don't remember this at all, guys. Oh, I went but, too um, far yeah. too soon. Uh, as Dave gets flame grilled there, that's uh, <laughs> Final Fights. The arcade version, Final Fights. Um... Check back to the channel, guys. Hit like. Please subscribe. Look out for more arcade memories. We're going to do more of these. More retro football. More old school. More, more, more. I'm, like Dave has already said, I'm too scared to go on that fire. Um, <laughs> yeah. As Dave has already said, we will have a look at Final Fight back to back um, on the home computers. So look out for that video as well. Speak to you all soon, guys.